Hold on to your seats because we're about to unravel a game-changing development in the world of real estate. A recent federal jury verdict has taken the side of home sellers in a class action lawsuit, alleging that the National Association of Realtors and major brokerages conspired to keep those real estate commissions artificially high. Now, don't worry if you're a bit perplexed by all of this because we're here to break it down for you. This decision has the potential to reshape the way we buy and sell homes, potentially leading to lower costs, reduced commissions, and a whole new approach to property marketing. So stay tuned as we unravel the details, discuss the implications, and reveal what this groundbreaking case holds for the future of real estate transactions. Now let's break down the core elements of the lawsuit. At its heart is the cooperative compensation rule, which mandated that sellers offer a standard compensation to buyer's agents when listing their properties on the multiple listing service, MLS. This rule came under scrutiny in the class action lawsuit where the National Association of Realtors and Affiliated Brokerages were accused of enforcing it to the detriment of home sellers. The lawsuit's contention was that, if not for this rule, sellers could have paid considerably less for brokerage services. The MLS, often described as the backbone of the U.S. real estate market, is a pivotal platform for marketing homes and feeds information to popular online listing portals like Zillow and Redfin. The verdict brought to light the potential impact impact of the cooperative compensation rule on real estate transactions, setting the stage for significant implications and potential changes in the industry. Now, let's talk about the MLS, or the Multiple Listing Service, and why it's such a big deal. You see, the MLS is the unsung hero of the real estate world quietly but powerfully shaping how homes are bought and sold across the United States. It's not a household name, but it's the backbone of the industry. Think of it as the behind-the-scenes wizardry that makes your property listings appear on platforms like Zillow, Redfin, and Realtor.com. It's where real estate agents come together to share information on available properties. This interconnected network ensures that properties get the exposure they need, and that's why it's so pivotal in the home buying and selling process. So when we talk about potential changes in how homes are marketed, you can't overlook the role of the MLS. It's a big piece of the puzzle, and its importance can't be overstated. Now, let's move on to the implications of this recent verdict and what it means for all of us. The MLS, or Multiple Listing Service, as we've just learned, is integral to how homes are marketed and discovered. But what's the fuss all about? Well, the recent lawsuit verdict has some profound implications for the MLS system. You see, the cooperative compensation rule, the focus of the lawsuit, was tightly connected to the MLS. It mandated that sellers offer compensation to buy buyer's agents when listing their homes on the MLS. Now, with the verdict suggesting that sellers might have paid less in commissions without this rule, there's a looming question. Will real estate agents continue to use the MLS if their compensation isn't guaranteed through it? This is where it gets interesting. Some industry analysts suggest that if the MLS system no longer guarantees compensation, agents may opt for alternative solutions, and that could be good news for consumers, as it might reduce the barriers to entry for new ways of buying and selling homes. In other words, innovation in the housing market might just get a boost. But this is far from a done deal, and there's still plenty of legal wrangling to come before we see any significant shifts. So the future of the MLS and how it impacts all of us is something we'll continue to explore. What's the next step in this legal journey, you might wonder? Well, the judge, Stephen R. Bow, presiding over this case, will need to issue a final order. The exact date is yet to be determined, but you can bet on one thing, appeals are almost certain to follow. The National Association of Realtors has already made it clear that they plan to appeal the jury's decision. An attorney representing Keller Williams has stated that they are assessing their options in light of the verdict. So this legal battle is far from over. In the next phase, the case would move to St. Louis, where it would be heard in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. Brace yourselves for a lengthy legal journey, as it's expected to take several years before this case reaches a final final resolution. But here's the interesting twist. This lawsuit isn't the only one aiming at broker fees. Another similar class action suit, Morhol v. National Association of Realtors, is making its way through the Northern District of Illinois court. So this could become a trend that shapes the real estate landscape in the coming years. As the legal process unfolds, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments and what they mean for the real estate market. Now let's talk about what's at stake 
for home buyers and sellers in the aftermath of this lawsuit. With the potential shift in real estate commissions, there's a lot on the horizon. The key takeaway is that the commissions paid by sellers to buyers' agents might see some changes. This could translate to more transparency for consumers when it comes to real estate agent compensation. Imagine having the freedom to negotiate fees directly with your agent or even negotiate with the seller to cover your agent's fee. It's all about flexibility and options. And that's something that can greatly benefit you, whether you're buying or selling your home. Now, you might be wondering if these changes in commission rules will lead to lower home prices. That's a valid concern, but it's a bit more complex than it seems. In the US, the typical seller paid a 5.5% commission, according to a 2019 report. This figure was relatively high compared to other countries. In some nations, buyers often forego a buyer's agent or pay their agent directly. But here's the catch. While commissions may see some adjustment, it doesn't necessarily mean that home prices will plummet. Sellers, after all, charge what the market can bear. If total fees are reduced, sellers might pocket a larger portion of the sales price. However, it doesn't necessarily translate into discounts for buyers. So what does all this mean for you as a potential home buyer or seller? It's about balancing the equation of transparency, fees, and ultimately the cost of home ownership. What's certain is that the real estate landscape might undergo some significant transformations in the near future. As we conclude our exploration of the Real Estate Commission lawsuit and its potential impact, remember that the real estate landscape is on the verge of change. While appeals and legal battles are on the horizon, the greater transparency and flexibility in real estate transactions are within reach. To stay updated on this evolving landscape, please subscribe, like, and share this video. We value your feedback, questions, and comments, which are essential to our community. Join us in future videos as we navigate the intricacies of real estate together. Thanks for being part of our journey.